Here is the weekly progress report. We are focused in our district for using Skyward for our students. So it has information from their view of where to find their attendance. On there, we'll have excused, unexcused, and tardies. We ask the students to check for every single class period um, so that they understand that their absences and how that reflects or affects positively or negatively their classwork. Then they check their grades. Attached to this uh, purchase, you will have access to this spreadsheet that I'll show you in just a minute. The side columns here will be able to be changed based on each year. Um, we also have Skyward login information. I share this out through their Google Classroom so they have access to it at all times. It asks to see how their grades have changed and have a reflection on that as well and connect that to their attendance. Then I asked them to look at missing assignments. This is really ranking them also based on whatever class grade is the lowest. I asked them to use that first. Kind of makes them be a little more cognizant of what assignments they really need to be getting done first to increase their grades overall. And there's also an additional reflection piece. I also ask for supports, especially since I teach EL. Um, I have students that need different uh, assistance as well. So I ask them for that here. We also have SMART goals. You can choose to allow them to use the sentence frames here or choose to take this out. It's simply a picture that I use as a screenshot. Feel free to take that out if you want to do your own version or completely trash it if you don't want to give them a sentence frame. And then also there's a point of confusion here as well. This is also an additional point that is used with part of AVID to ask for a point of confusion um, and see how they overcame that. Part of AVID, we also have our worker strategies. So using any sort of writing, inquiry, collaboration where they're working with someone else, organization. This is a little bit more expanded because if you're using sheets or any sort of in math like a spreadsheets or a table, that can be used for this as well, or any sort of note taking. And then reading. This isn't just simply reading like silent sustained reading, it's interacting with the reading. So reading strategies, annotations, summarizing, note taking, uh, vocab, anything like that. So they, I asked them to go through and find an activity they did for a class. So I asked them to type in which class it is um, and then specifically what the activity was. Then I have them make a self-reflection as a person and a learner. They choose one of these frames here to rewrite completely in this last example. And then I connect it to their future. How has something that they learned this week affected their possibility or understanding of a future job or gotten them ready for that? This can be harder for younger level students because they don't quite understand those connections yet. So it's important that you make those connections for them. As part of the additional resource on here, you'll have this spreadsheet that you can add to their Google Classroom. Um, you'll wanna make sure that you add it so that they each get their own copy of it. The weeks here are editable, so you can change this every year. I simply use the exact same one as a template. I just changed the dates here. Uh, the progress report, which was the Google form, I have them type in here just as a tracker to say that yes, they turned it in or they didn't, and it will automatically turn green. These here also will change colors. So if I had a 23% in an advisory class, a 56% here, maybe an 87, maybe a 65, 70 something, maybe a 90. So you can see that it changes and it's not going to stay the same in the column. So if I had, was a student and got my grade up and got up to a 90, it's going to change. So when I am asking students to look back at their reflection piece of their grades and how it has changed, this is what we're talking about. These colors will really help students understand how their grades have either changed for the good or the better. So maybe they had a good grade and they dropped down because they missed some assignments it's gonna show them that, oh, I went from really great to not so great. Sometimes for elementary students or middle school students or students who do not have a lot of academic background, understanding the idea of grades and what's good or bad based on a number scale is hard for them to understand. So this definitely helps. You can also delete this once your kids understand that they have to put numbers here and not the letter A. If you put the letter A or B, it's not gonna do anything. So they need to put letters and numbers in here. It'll also help them understand that if they go from a 78 to a 76, um, that it's still not the same grade scale, but that it has gone lower. So looking at that is good. Um, or that from a 23 to a 43, we want to know that there has been a 20% increase, but it still is in that red. But we want to, you know, really praise that and celebrate that they've had an increase in the grade there. Okay. I also separate mine by semester. So I have first and I have second semester there as well. 
And all of these here are also editable. So depending on how many class periods you have and what type of classes, you can put that there. You could also, instead of doing class periods, you could have the students change this to class names. It's completely up to you. Hope this helps. Please send me a message if you have any questions.